What's going on guys, King Nerf here, and today I am bringing you guys Nerf News number 3. So today we have some really exciting stuff to talk about, and I will be showing you guys pictures of them, either here or here, whichever one I decide when I'm video editing. So anyway, this first thing is the Flip Fury. Now what this essentially is is a double strong arm from the zombie strike line as you can see it has that zombie strike logo right on the side there and then it also has those green elite darts which are in fact the zombie strike darts and it does have that weird tacky grip stuff around the handle which i don't understand what about the zombie apocalypse means that everybody gauze tapes their blasters it doesn't make any sense to me personally but anyway as you guys can see double barrels up front and then there's that lever underneath the primary trigger which I'm guessing is either going to um, disengage a lock to allow you to rotate the barrels by yourself or it actually will rotate the barrels for you so anyway as you can see there's a little hole in the handle I'm not sure how comfortable that will be um, I hope that that doesn't become an issue if there actually is a hole in the handle so everything looks pretty good with the Flip Fury, and I'm definitely very excited um, for this one because I absolutely love the strong arm. And I also know that modders have been doing this mod for a really long time. So moving on to the next thing, we have the Sharp Fire, I believe it's called. And what essentially this is, is to me it looks like it might have some type of maybe either a pull back and prime mechanism on the top that gray piece so where you would pull it back and then there's a breach that you would load the dart into or it could also be you pull it back then you crack the barrel down and then you load in a dart like that and then as you can see the stock it looks very very similar to a long strike stock with all of those dart holders and the trigger is in fact gray so this means this is the australian version so Australian nerfers, you guys are likely getting this first before American nerfers. Um, so another cool thing with this blaster is that the stock can actually disconnect from the um, blaster and turn into a holster. I will show you guys that if I end up doing an unboxing and review on this blaster um, when it comes out, which I probably will, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this is a regular Elite Blaster, as you guys can see with the blue Elite Darts, not the green Zombie Strike ones. So, now moving on to our next thing. This is the Cross Bolt. I'm sorry guys, this picture is a little bit blurry. But, it works. I mean, what are you going to do? So, anyway, as you can see, it has a tactical rail on the top. And if you guys see that gray uh, piece at the top, that is the priming handle. Um, so, no flywheel blaster action. As you can see, there is no rev trigger, only that primary trigger. And it is, in fact, a bullpup design, so the magazine is behind the trigger, which I'm very interested to see how this works on a spring blaster. I don't know if the plunger tube is going to be, like, facing backwards, and then it's one of those weird things where, like, it sends air this way, and then it shoots around that way to propel the dart forward. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out when this comes out. So it also looks like the, the bow arms might actually be doing something, which is very interesting. Another thing that it could happen is that there's actually elastics on the bow arms, which power the dart. So say like a dart, when you prime the blaster forward, a dart pusher pushes the dart forward and then into a little chamber and then the bow arms propel the dart when you pull the trigger. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see on that one. So the next thing, this, I'm not sure what it's going to be called. Um, it's a, I'm referring to it as the bag blaster because it is a rebel blaster that folds into a bag. Um, no words for this one really. Um, I commend the people at Nerf for being creative on this one, but it honestly doesn't seem that practical. It seems like a girl version of the Deploy, um, but it does have that Raider style foregrip, so it will likely have slam fire. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a clip system 
or if it's going to be like a uh, single shot type thing, or it will have an internal Mac. I'm not sure about that. So this last thing, this is called the Rebel Strong Heart. Now what this is, is if you guys can imagine um, a, what's it called? A four dart Rebel Messenger uh, tip, I guess, combined into a Heartbreaker bow. That is what this is. It will have the smart AR system, and it will work exactly like the Heartbreaker bow. So, yeah, guys, that's going to about do it for this episode of Nerf News. So, as always, guys, hit that red subscribe button if you, if you want more awesome content. And keep it tuned right here to King Nerf. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.